As an artist, here are some things Richard de Dominici has already done. He dressed like a torchbearer, holding his own homemade torch running just moments ahead of the actual Olympic torch relay at the 2012 London Olympics. He claimed unintended baggage by sticking himself inside of it. For the last two years, he's been busy with his Redux project, traveling the world and faking clips of blockbusters where they were actually shot. Richard de Dominici recently came to China as one of the artists of the British art community Forest Fringe. Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm the uh, award-losing Richard de Dominici. After visiting Guangzhou, he came to Shanghai and talked to us all about the Redux project. It started by mistake. I was in Paris and then Berlin, um, getting trains across Europe, and uh, I recognised the stations when I was waiting there for the train as being in movies. And the Berlin station was in the Bourne uh, identity. The Paris station had been in the film Amelie, and at first I, I didn't have the film with me, but I tried to remake Amelie from memory. Um, it was very, very bad, very silly, but fun, something to do whilst waiting for a train. Um, that was about 2009, and then in Berlin in 2011, by that point, uh, I had an iPhone, I could download a clip, um, I could video, I could shoot video on my phone, so the technology was progressing that it was very easy to suddenly make something that looked a bit like a movie. Not long after that, Andy from Forest Fringe asked me if I had an idea for a project in a cinema in Bangkok, so it had to be something to do with film. So I thought about this, these things that I'd done in Berlin and Paris, which weren't really art, it was just something to do. I thought maybe I can turn this into a project. Though it was only meant to be a one-time thing, critics preferred De Dominici's version even better than the original films. So he decided to do it more. Now he has almost 40 Redux films from all kinds of films around the world. He's also developed his own format of doing it. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system. So far, people have invited me to come to a city. If I already know films from that city, I will suggest those maybe, or I'll, I'll seek out the locations. So there's a lot of research. I think probably 90% of the Redux project, the work is research. Find, trying to find the location, seeing if they're still there, working out if, it's, if there's permission or if, if, if you can film there without being moved on or arrested or something. So uh, there's a lot of research. I, I drive around a lot in uh, Google Street View or in this country, um, uh, Baidu Street View, I think. Uh, so I was driving around Guangzhou a lot in that, virtually looking for locations and buildings. So it's mainly 90% research, then maybe 9% editing, and maybe probably only 1% is actual the filming. We shoot very quickly because I, I use um, volunteers so I don't want to take too much of their time and if it goes on for more than three hours I, I get bored, they get bored. Everybody! Oh, what are you going to do? The whole ignore me thing? Well, can you blame her? It's not like you're exactly there for her mentally. Richard's Reduxes have covered quite a few film genres, including science fiction, action, romance and comedy among others Just keep walking. but probably his most interesting endeavor is when he tries to recreate some of the special effects all on his own I think he's behind me whatever you do don't look back here we go the first special effect we had was Cloud Atlas when we had cars and they were made from cardboard and we shot in camera. Luckily the road was very not busy so we could film in the street and we had broken glass which we did with crushed ice. That was how we did the effects. So it's all practical effects. Still quite difficult but um, we could do it all in camera. For Seoul I originally thought we could do the same thing but the roads, are, it's too much traffic in Seoul. It's very too dangerous. So I, so I had to use a green screen which I'd never done before. 
but I knew the basic principle, so I bought a piece of green paper from a stationery shop and some very small Avengers toys, and um, I was just trying to light them and shoot them. It's tough, but I think it worked quite well. So I know that I can do big special effects movies now. All Richard needs to make a redux is a camera and a laptop. But this time in Shanghai, when he reduxed the film Her, he tried using some new equipment. Her, the one that I shot in Shanghai, was uh, we used this new uh, GoPro and uh, gimbal, which is like a Steadicam. And that gives you some beautifully smooth shots, but the GoPro has no kind of uh, focusing or, or depth of field, so that's a bit problematic. But we, we shot it in like 4K, so it's like super big, so you can crop it quite a lot and stuff without. So there's a lot of post-production. But you know, we fell in love together and we got married together. It's important to me that we do this together. Oh, great. I had a guy, uh, Yong, who is actually a, like, a, he makes soap operas. He's a cameraman on a big soap opera in China, so he, he knows his way around a camera and he was very professional. But it's never exactly the same, but there is always some very obsessive um, attention to detail. I try and source props locally, but that was a very specific red shirt, so I bought that from England. It was quite recognisable, that shirt, with the white button. When you go to the Times Museum in Guangzhou, they give you a sticker to put on, on, your, on your arm saying Times Museum. And uh, so I got some scissors, it was a white sticker, and I cut lots of little circles out of this sticker, which I still had, and I just stuck them to the shirt. So um, a cheap, practical effect. And she has a body. And we're getting divorced. I know, I know. I'm being silly. Uh -huh. So, I'm available. <laughs> when Richard Dominici gave a speech on his Redux project and premiered his version of her here in the city a few days back, the audience burst into laughter again and again. But what exactly is it about the project that people love so much? I觉得他做他觉得很有意思的事情，那同时这个应该是非常crowd-pleasing，就是非常受大众喜欢的这样一个项目。This，this I know that people like the mistakes the best. I, I try and be accurate, but always people laugh and make the most noise when something goes wrong. I think that's what they like. It's something about exposing the fakeness of it, because films are already fake, and my versions are fake versions of fake films, and I think that by doing this, hopefully, we can collectively find a kind of greater truth. The fact that no one has asked me to stop yet probably means that it is part of the immune system of Hollywood. Is it At the end of the speech, Richard de Dominici actually told the audience that he planned to make 80 reduxes and will write a book called Around the World in 80 Reduxes. Well, we certainly hope to see the book coming our way very soon.